Recently I've been taking your video suggestions on board and bringing your ideas to life on the channel. And that's continuing today as we put Pep Guardiola's best 11 to the test up against Mourinho's best 11. Massive thanks to Red Titans for that one, and if you've got any ideas for me then leave them in the comments section down below. I do read every single comment so yeah if you've got a suggestion for me it will be read. Now then, I've tried to spread things out as evenly as possible with Pep's side, so there are three players from his Barcelona days, four from the Bayern years, and four from his current Manchester City team. Whilst with Mourinho, that was a bit more difficult as the majority of the players that I'd want to include from his Chelsea years are either retired or no longer in the game, so... There are six players from his Real Madrid side, two Chelsea representatives, and three players from the current crop of Manchester United players. Sanchez isn't really in there at all for what he's shown as a player under Mourinho. He's been fairly underwhelming, to be honest, but yeah, he's more just there for his rating within the game. Anyway, though, like I said before, keep leaving your video suggestions for me in the comments section. Leave the video a like if you do go on to enjoy it. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos from me in the future, then be sure to subscribe for more. Now though, today's video will be split up into two parts. Firstly, putting the two teams to the test in a computer versus computer battle, where they'll both have the same formation and tactical setup just to make things as fair as possible. And secondly, we'll be finding out which team comes out on top throughout the course of an entire simulated season in career mode. Before we get into the gameplay though, I just want to say a massive thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring today's video. It's a truly fantastic app where you can find out all the latest football news, results, rumours and goings on. And personally, I've been using the app for a while now and find it to be extremely useful. You can set things up to receive notifications about all of your favourite clubs, competitions and players. And every time there's something to update you on, the app will let you know. Every goal, every result, every piece of news, the app will have you covered. And whether it's good news or bad news, you'll never get left behind again regarding the latest action. From Cristiano Ronaldo's rocket, through to Eric Cantona's opinion on Jose Mourinho, there's a great wealth of news, articles and clips available at your fingertips. And given that the app is completely free to download, there's no real reason not to give it a go. It's available for both iOS and Android, and if you've not already got it installed on your phone, then I definitely highly recommend checking out the link in the description down below. Massive thanks to them once again for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into the gameplay though. Pep's players have the edge on paper with a superior rating in midfield and attack. Mourinho's team's got the better defence though, so it should be interesting to see how this one plays out on the pitch. So let's get into it and let's see how this one goes. Pep's men with the kickoff now then. They've got the advantage on paper, but will it translate in the game? That is the big question. Iniesta's on the ball, plays that across to Kyle Walker. He's going to play that back to Iniesta, who moves it forward to Lewandowski. Messi's got the ball out wide, takes on Marcelo, moves it back to Iniesta. It's back with Messi, does his man once again, gets it past Marcelo, crosses it over... And it's 1-0 to Pep's men already. Lovely little cross there from Messi. Brilliant contact with the header. And Pep's men have the advantage. Let's take another look at this one on the replay. Messi takes it past Marcelo. Lifts it across. Finds the head of the German. And it's 1-0 to Pep's players. De Gea had no chance there. Brilliant contact with the header. And it's found the back of the net. It's 1-0 to Pep's men. Can Mourinho's 11 bounce back with an instant reply here though? Pogba plays that back to Pepe. He moves it forward to Luka Modric. He plays it across to Mesut Ozil. Pogba's on it now. Plays it back to Mesut Ozil. He looks up, moves it on to Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he make the magic happen here? He moves it out wide to Eden Hazard. He moves it into Ozil, but it all just breaks down in the final third. Here they come once again here, working the ball down the wing with Hazard. He's lifting this further out wide. I thought he was just going to play it across, but... Now he chooses to play it in, they get it away, it drops for Marcelo though, he moves it back to Eden Hazard, who plays it across to Pogba, Modric moves that on to Hazard once more, takes on his man, is he going to whip it across? He does, but it's straight into the keeper's arms. Neuer's got that covered all day long. Iniesta's got hold of it here, plays that to Messi, Lewandowski's got it now, on the wing, moves that back to Iniesta once more, brilliant ball forward there, looking for Messi, can he find a killer ball in? Turns that back, whips it to the near post, and they've got it clear. It's going to drop here for Iniesta, is it? Yes, it does. He turns his man, moves that on to Lewandowski. He moves it out wide to Messi. And this is brilliant passing football once again. And I thought they were going to make it 2-0 there. Ronaldo has it, moves that to Ozil. Good ball through there to Sanchez. But that's a big save from Manuel Neuer. 
They've got it clear. Is Messi going to win a header? Of course not. Hazard's on the ball. What can he do with this one? He gets tackled. Messi's on it now. And he gets tackled too. Okay, no one's able to keep hold of the ball at the moment. Ozil plays that out wide to Hazard. Brilliant ball through there to Ronaldo. Can they make the most of this one? Not really. It drops for Ronaldo once more though. Hazard is going to whip that across. And I'm not entirely sure who that was that tried an overhead kick there, but it didn't really work out. Sanchez is standing over the corner, plays that one to the edge of the box. It drops for Luka Modric. What can he do with this one? He's taking on his man, taking it out wide. Can he get a ball across? Can they find the killer delivery here? No, not really. So it's not exactly been the greatest first half in the world. Pep's men have a 1-0 advantage though, so yeah, let's get into the second half and let's see if anything changes. CR7's got hold of the ball here, plays that to Pogba. What can he do with this one? Plays it out wide to Sanchez, gets it back. And he's not really got much support here. He doesn't seem to know what to do with it. And as a result, he's lost possession. Here comes Aspi down the right wing. Takes it past his man. And Ronaldo's just taken an air shot there. Hazard's on it now though, is he? No, he went for a header and completely missed it. And now Ramos has got hold of it. Plays that forward to Ozil. Pogba, I thought he was going to play through Ronaldo then. Chose not to though. And it looks like it was the wrong decision, to be honest. Ronaldo was running through on goal. Pogba didn't have the vision to pick him out, though. And now Pep's men, I thought they were going to get it away, but no. It's back with Mourinho's men. Pogba moves that forward to Sanchez. He plays it out wide to Marcelo. Nice little ball over the top there to Hazard. Is this the moment where they get the equaliser? No, it's not. Aspi's back on the ball once again. He's been brilliant so far in this game. Sanchez has got hold of it now, though, and that was shocking. Sane's running with it at the moment. Finds Lionel Messi. He moves it back to Busquets. Sane plays that forward to Lewandowski, and what a hit. It's 2-0. Let's take another look at this one on the replay. That's exactly the kind of passing football you expect from a Pep side, and look at that finish from Lewandowski. Absolutely wallops it into the back of the net, outside of the box, Hits it full force. De Gea has no chance of saving that one. Mourinho's men just haven't been on their game today. And it's been quite painful to watch, to be honest. Anyway, though, Aspi's on the ball. Plays that forward to Sanchez. He whips it across. And that is a poor ball. Tony Kroos has the ball in midfield. Moves that to Sane. And this is quick passing football from Pep's 11. And it's very impressive, to be completely honest with you. That wasn't quite so impressive, though. Ozil's on it now. Plays that to Aspi. And look at that. Sanchez is away. Holds off his man. And then... Yeah, what on earth was that? Sanchez is getting substituted at this point, and to be honest, I'm not remotely surprised. He's been completely awful in this game. Sane's going to whip that over, though. Is it going to be 3-0? No, it's not. It does drop for him once again, though, and this is another big opportunity. Aguero plays that to Sane, and this is good passing play. They don't really seem to be building to anything, though. They're just kind of passing it around. They're winning 2-0, and... They're happy with that. Ozil plays that across to Matic. Cristiano Ronaldo's got hold of it now. What can he do with this one? Plays it to Willian. Ozil is looking out wide to Azpia Quetta. He's been full of running all game, but his passing play just hasn't quite been on point. And Neuer is able to punch that away. It does drop for them once again, though. Hazard's on the ball. What's he going to do here? Plays that across to Matic. And it's just broken down again. It's been the story of their game, to be honest. They've not been terrible, but it just hasn't quite been working out for them in the final third. So, Pep's 11 have been able to pick up the win here. Six shots, three on target. They've scored two of them. And ultimately, they've picked up a 2-0 victory. David De Gea didn't have the best of performances. And in fact, none of Mourinho's men did, to be honest. They've only registered two shots all game. And they were poor. Leroy Sane was the man of the match there with an 8.7. Otamendi with an 8.3. Messi with an 8.2. And all around there were some very good performances there for Pep's 11. Mourinho's men, however, not quite so impressive. And that 5.9 rating for David De Gea pretty much says it all. He had a terrible game. Anyway though, let's get into the second part of the experiment. And let's see which team comes out on top throughout the course of a simulated season. Will Pep's 11 continue to dominate, or will Mourinho's men come out on top this time? Let's find out. I've sent forward to the start of January, and as it stands, Spurs are the team at the top of the table. They're completely unbeaten all season. They've picked up 46 points. They're one point ahead of Pep, and three ahead of Mourinho. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest, but there you go. As it stands, Spurs are the team in the driving seat. With Harry Kane as the joint top scorer, along with Kevin De Bruyne. And you may have noticed there, but neither Messi or Ronaldo have made it into the top 15, which is slightly surprising. Two of the best goal scorers of their generation, in fact, the two very best goal scorers of their generation, and 
They're not even in the top 15, go figure. Anyway though, let's sim forward to the end of the season and let's see if anything changes. With sim forward to the end of the season, Harry Kane is the top scorer with 25 goals in 37 appearances, Meza Ozil's provided the most assists, and Hugo Lloris has kept the most clean sheets. So, Spurs have the top scorer and the keeper with the most clean sheets. Has it provided them with the Premier League title? Not quite, no. Spurs have finished third, Pep's men have finished second, and Mourinho's squad have won the title. 85 points for them, 84 for Pep, and Spurs not too far behind at all. It was incredibly tight at the top. Ultimately though, Mourinho's emerged victorious and Manchester United have won the Premier League title. And although Pep's players may have come out on top in that original computer versus computer battle, didn't go quite so well for them in their simulated season. They lost the first game 3-0 and the second game, they lost that 1-0. Of course, at the end of the season, they were only one point behind Mourinho's men, so... Even if they just drawn one of those games, they would have won the title. Pep's players did win the FA Cup though, so at least that's something. And Mourinho's men have added to their Premier League glory, and they've also won the Carabao Cup. Pep's players were able to reach the Champions League quarter-final stage, where they were knocked out by Roma. And ultimately, Spurs went on to win the whole thing. They might have finished third in the Premier League, but they did win the Champions League picking up a 2-1 victory in the final over Real Madrid. And over in the Europa League, Atletico Madrid beat Ajax 3-1 in the final. And if you were curious to find out how Messi and Ronaldo did, the answer is not great to be honest. Messi only got 3 goals and 1 assist from 23 appearances, whilst Cristiano Ronaldo appeared 15 times, scored 6 goals and provided 1 assist. Not good enough for either player, you'd expect a lot more from both of them, but it is what it is. Both players didn't really feature too much, and when they did feature, they weren't great. Anyway though, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, have an awesome day, and I'll catch you again next time.